Suzanne McNeil with Design Originals, and today I'm, well, I'm already thinking ahead to Christmas, so uh, Christmas gifts, something quick and easy, or even a birthday or something. So I wanted to show you some jewelry that I have. These are some, I just love these pieces. These are by uh, different CCTs and designers, Angie Van Gallis, this one's by Penny Rayleigh, Sue Jacobs, this one's a bottle cap, these are a uh, Innovative bottle caps. Here's a leather bracelet by Cindy Shepard and another bottle cap. Aren't those nice? So today, oh, and I forgot to show you my bracelet by Betty Abdu. This is made out of polymer clay. Isn't that just beautiful with a different tangle on each section? So uh, today I just want to show you a little quickie thing that's just perfect for a little gift. Uh, for this necklace, all you need is a little black necklace cord, something to hang your dangle with, maybe a little piece of ribbon. I'm using these little metal rim tags. They look so professional, but they're not expensive. And, of course, my uh, Sakura Micron pins. So I'm just going to take one of these tags, and I like to, um, like Zentangle, of course, we already have the outside edge. But I'm going to do this one just sort of like a yin-yang, since it's already round. And I always I love checkerboards, so I often use a checkerboard as one of my predominant themes. On this one, I might um, alter that checkerboard a little bit to give it a, a little different look. I'm just going to divide that checkerboard diagonally color in those diagonals and that gives me a really good center of interest for this uh, it's sort of a yin-yang pattern but all done in Zentangle. You know, Zentangle is uh, just under a wonderful pastime. It was developed by Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas. They live in Massachusetts. They give classes for certification to be a teacher and I was lucky enough to go up and take one of their classes, and now I've taught all over the country and even in Mexico for Zentangle. So that's a really nice look, and now I'm just going to take and choose another of the tangle patterns to put over in this next section. So I always like sort of the checkerboard look. It's a wonderful starter pattern and you can make so many variations of the checkerboard look. Now I'm going the opposite direction and I'm forming my grid and then this one I want to create some sort of little pillow shapes so I'm making little arches on both sides of this line. Now I'm going to make little arches on this side of the line. I'm going to fill the entire section with that. Uh, Zentangle is something I love to do in the evenings when I come home from work and want to relax. It's just like reading a book except even more relaxing and I can make something to keep really beautiful artwork. Now I'm just going to turn my desk the other way and I'm going right back doing exactly the same thing sort of breaking at the corners with my pen to leave enough room there but exactly the same arches and that forms a totally different pattern than just a plain checkerboard and I'm just going to keep doing that over and over you know, Zentangle is something that is simple enough for uh, children and teens to do. It's a great activity right before bedtime to sort of calm down and be ready to go to sleep. And now I'm going to take the other side and I'm going to choose another pattern. You know, it, I know a lot of patterns, but sometimes I just forget what I know. And this is a wonderful little reference book by Sandy Steen Bartholomew. You can see inside it has a little bit of instruction, but then she goes through the entire alphabet and delineates different patterns. Here's the one I just did. It's called Bales. They colored in, Sandy colored in the center, so it has a little different look. Here's some more patterns. Ooh, I love that one. Isn't that one fun? I might try something like that. Oh, no, I think I'll do this one is um, 
rain, so I just love that. Well, no, that's not rain. Here's the name of the official name right here. Echoism. So here are a lot of patterns. I just love to take this. It fits right in my pocketbook, and I can carry it around with me everywhere. And the Zentangle is so nice because it's so small. You can just pop it in a little box or your pocket along with the reference book, your pen, and a Zentangle paper tile, and you're all ready to work. So now I've done my loops, and now I'm going to come back and just sort of follow the pattern, sort of an echo or a aura right in those spaces, following the pattern. So you can see how I'm following the shape that I did previously using it as a guide and just creating a secondary shape. I'm almost finished. Of course, I might want to do the back, or I could just paint the back uh, red. That'd be a really sparky looking piece to wear. So all I need to do is attach that to my necklace. Maybe add a bead or a little ribbon. I like these lanyard hooks myself to attach those. That just uh, makes them hang just really, really nice. So isn't that a cute necklace? And here, uh, let me show you these books. Uh, this is the one I showed you that's such a wonderful guide by Sandy. And here's another book by Sandy. Her books are so entertaining as well as being educational and just packed with new tangles, new ideas for what to do. Oh, look at those ladies. Are they just fabulous? Yoga for the brain. That's Sandy's coin for uh, Zentangle. It's so relaxing. It's just like yoga. Or for jewelry, uh, this is the book, Zentangle 5, and it has lots and lots of 40 new tangles plus all the jewelry patterns and different things to do. Lots of fun. Enjoy Zentangle.